Hey guys, this is Jimmy O, and I wanted to show you how I create line work for t-shirt designs and illustrations or whatnot. Uh, my workflow involves using uh, Cintiq. Uh, Cintiq is a tool which allows you to draw on the screen and it shows up in real time. Um, and it comes with a pin. And on that pin is a button. And on that button, uh, you can set actions or shortcuts and I have that one I have the main button on there to step backwards and the reason I have that is because anytime I make a big mistake or I'm working on an illustration I could just press that button and it goes back in the history uh, and deletes everything so it's integral to my line work process because I want efficiency I want to be quick now the other thing, there are two shortcuts that I want to talk about. There's X and there's D. Uh, I'm using Photoshop, by the way. Everything I do is in Photoshop. So D is a simple uh, shortcut. And all it does is change your foreground and background colors back to the default uh, of black and white. Um, it's useful because to me because I change the foreground and background colors all the time. So that just an easy quick way to change it back. So the other shortcut is X and what X does is toggle the foreground and background back and forth. If you would just look here, I'm going to start pressing X. Dink, 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 dink. So I want to draw in black. Boom. I press X. It changes to the white ink so I can essentially draw in white. So it's pretty much replacing the eraser tool because I exclusively work in black and white um, when I'm creating line work. Reiterate, the Cintiq button, pin button, is good for big mistakes and or just trying out new ways. You're thinking, well, maybe I should draw like this or that, and boom. You try it out, it doesn't look good, you fix it. Now the X, uh, is not for mistakes really as it is more like molding lines because like I said I use this for line work as well as I mean general general shape creation or whatnot but you know I just so quick I have one finger on X and I just go back and forth and once you use this technique it becomes second nature and you can erase and draw and mold uber fast. I mean, it's ridiculous. Uh, and the other reason I like it is that although Cintiqs have pressure sensitivity, I mean, if you go slow and you increase the pressure, you can draw these nice-ish tapered lines. It actually works better when you go, f go faster. Well, okay, so it doesn't work. I hate it. I'd rather just draw a thick line and then just mold it after the fact. And the reason I like using the black and white X shortcut technique is that it's a little bit more forgiving and although it takes a few more strokes, you can mold your line work a lot easier instead of just being uber careful and meticulous about how much pressure you use to lay down lines. So I hope you learned something. Try it out. This was Jimmy O. Follow me on Facebook. I'm as Jimmy O Art. Uh, you can find a lot of my t-shirt designs online. Just Google Jimmy Yo. Thanks.